Hello my fellow gamers, I'm Puggy Gaming, and today we are playing this, The Stanley Parable. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get this game on the Steam sales, obviously today being Black Friday, it's not for you guys, because obviously it's a few days down the road, and the Steam sales are obviously called the Exploration Sales, and I was lucky enough to see this at the price of around about £2, which was just absolutely bonkers, and I just thought, yep, I'm buying it. I just because I've seen the game advertised on Steam and the sales and I just thought, shall I get it or shall I get it? And I've always hesitated about it. So today I just thought, why not? What have I got to lose for £2? And I'm really, really quite excited about actually playing it. And from what I've seen and read and all that stuff, it, you're playing in a first person perspective in an office sort of environment. Um, but when you're moving around doing tasks or something, you have someone narrating of what you're doing or where you're going. So, I'm a bit intrigued about that one, really. From what I've heard, it's actually a pretty funny game, but I don't know. Let's just see where the actual game takes us. I'm really, really am intrigued. Like, end is never the end. Well, the end is never the end. Ah, that's fancy. Yeah, different. <laughs> This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Different. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shot, that. frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Uh, do we want to step out of the office? I just want to see what he says. <laughs> wow, he's actually running in 60 frames? Wow, I'm never really imagine that. Bit of a um, t texture iffiness. How do we move? Oh, we are already moving now. Ah, okay. What the hell are we meant to do? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Uh, where's the meeting room? That's it. Isn't the guy supposed to be saying what random things, depending on what direction we're going? No matter how hard Stanley <laughs> looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> this is just random as hell. Okay, I'll try. Oh, we can crouch down. I don't even know the control is just like one crap control is crouch. Which that's about all you can do. You can't. There's no jump. I think where is the meeting room anyway? So I have no idea where the hell we meant to be going. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? 
okay? He's said this narrator is supposedly really quiet. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, no, I'm going to try the right one. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> this is so different. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Cannot press any buttons whatsoever. <laughs> yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really Ooh. worth it. Oh, fancy. Oh, what's this one? What's this? A leaf. And what we got? Ooh, wonder where this has been taken. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone left. Whoa, what have I done? Seriously, can't be that bad, can I? No, oh, can't. Can Stanley st sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is just like random as hell. I just think, can we, can we, can we try and stay here any longer? Beep. Yeah, I think I'm gonna carry on. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took <laughs> the first open door on his left to get back to business. First open door on the left. Now a ghost, shall we? What's this room? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> There's. This is just random ass game ever. Oh, where are we? Oh, what's this right? Do not jump from cargo. Lift when in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse. Cargo lift. Thousand. Penalty for jumping off. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. All right, prove chance. it. Prove it then. How can you prove that you're on my side? I'm just trying to be random. Where the hell are we now going? Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm tempted to go blue door. You know, Matrix, the blue pill. Is it the red for the room? No, go, let's go red. Red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing what? right now. What? Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. No! And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Where am I meant to go? Which... A black door and a black door. 
Let's go through this one. Uh, this is a... Um, okay. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Oh, you trying to make it this obvious? What the? Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Um... I actually feel happy. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty though. Oh, pretty. Alright, let's go for it. Let's carry on. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> Hold on. Where to now? Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! Nah, let's count it! Hey, where are we going up these stairs? I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna risk it, we'll see what happens. Okay, nothing's happening. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here! Don't take this from me! What, where are we meant to go? Seriously? You want me to jump off? Is this the only option for us? The jump from that little platform? Okay... Please, well, Stanley, think about what you're doing. What? What the hell am I meant to do? That's great. No! Oh, thank God you lived. <laughs> you had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Yeah, where are we going? There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. We have to stop moving. Now, what happens next then? What happens next? Pretty. I'm meant to be waiting for something. Really, what am I waiting for? Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Sure, I've heard that. Okay, room's, room's gone. Room's black now. I don't want to walk off the edge. Ooh, that's... There's nothing in the room anymore! Where am I meant to go? Oh, we got stars now! I wonder if I can see any constellations, I know. <laughs> ah, we got these fantastical magical patterns. Oh, we can't walk off the edge. Okay, spoil sport. Literally have nowhere to go. What the hell have I done? No, no, no. What are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Um, prove something to me that I can move around into a different location other than this room and the other room and me dying. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Um. <laughs> 
I want to get out of this room. This is boring just with this. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? Yeah, but I want to move somewhere else. And am I going to... Do you want me to stay silent? Stay not moving then? Where do you want me to go? I'm lost. I am stunned. Where, where does this dude want me to go? Really? Where did I have no possible option of where to go and shit. Can I jump into the void? Um, there's no door we went through. Regardless of how many times we will try and walk around here. Anyone else have this trouble? I'm just waiting for him to say something no, now. perhaps not. What is that meant to be? No, perhaps not. God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yep. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. <laughs> Am I reading the situation correctly? Um, possibly. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Well, we can but get I guess along. That was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Yeah. Well, this one is yours. Which one? What's, what, what choice is mine? Is this to mean where we can go? And is that door open? No. I don't know. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are yeah. you just teasing me? Yeah, of course I want to stay alive. No point in dying. But if it means going back into the room, I don't know. Like, where are we going? Where are we meant to be going then? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Yeah, we could be still be happy, but like we said, you need to make a deal with me. I need to leave this place to carry on the game, and you're not letting me do that. Maybe that's because I've been um, jumping off the stairs and so on, but there's no, no way in the hell to take it out of me to let me not progress. Alright, see so you're not playing ball. We're going back to the stairs, I think. <laughs> He's gone really depressed now, hasn't he? Part of me's thinking I should have taken the blue door. Let me out! Is it over? Yep, yeah, it's, it's over. Going to restart, isn't it? Yes. I'm going back. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, we're back in our office now. Ooh. Can we answer the phone? No, can't do anything. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, I think we'll actually mind go to the meeting room this time. Let's just turn off this PC a minute. Oh, let's turn off this one as well. 
Available input. Input received. What the hell does that mean? I mean, we can do something in our office then. Oh, buddy, I'll door shut. Oh, open well, right. Let's keep the on. Hmm, same green paint I saw before. I think I'm having, I'm having deja vu. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, let's just uh, follow him. Follow suit for the moment. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Mm, I don't know. I think it might hold, hold put free for the moment. What to do? What to do, people? Things, money, more money. Things, but with money to buy. More things, graphs. Graphs about things and money. We have our next pro <laughs> product. <laughs> <laughs> what is hot? Profits, 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 which is spelt wrong. And I think you're thinking about the wrong type of profits. Stock markets. What's this one? It's somewhere here. Colored segment. Stripes required more secondary research. And what's this one? By quality polls review, we need reviews, 402 plus 405, get rid of death sports, partial portion, the prime reviews. Okay, work harder, work. Throw something in the ideas. Okay, what's this little bit saying? If you actually zoom in. One, um, no more bin trash cans. Two, renaming of the ideas bin. Three, firing of me. <laughs> Okay, that's just a little bit wrong. Ooh. Synergize core value expenditures. Shift global market power. Monetize, monetize free to play. <laughs> I hate free to play. Really do hate free to play. Oh, broom closet. <gasps> oh, Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Uh, shall we? Um, hold on, I want to see what. He I'm quite intrigued to see what he says. I'm definitely going to have to There was nothing out. here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Yeah. No reason to still be here. I know. He should be still here. Yeah, let's go. He's kind of boring in here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm counting the mind. I want to see what's downstairs. I want to see what's down there. It's great. Let's go. It's what you do when you're playing freaking games. You think, oh, I want to find the path. So you must check every single route to see whatever you can find. And... Funny he's not said anything. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. Yeah, this must is be dreaming. all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers what? weren't actually gone. What? He wasn't going to lose his what? job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying, 
and began to gently float above the ground. What the hell? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun. What and the? And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why I'm... is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he what? thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley yeah. is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? <laughs> How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, it's surely, magic. if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. It is a dream, it is a dream. He closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Oh, that's Let nice. That's nice up, thought about. He thought to himself, I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. Yeah, my I life is normal, normal as well, I think. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay? What's happening now? Are we awake? Yes! I don't think, can I continue on? Stanley or? began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And uh, everything went black. What? What the hell? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, um, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular um, day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, Can't be she that crazy, can I? how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. <laughs> She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Ah! Um, looks like we started again, so I think on that note, um, looks like we're going to have to end it here. By the looks of it, in terms of, we have to follow the guy's voice. Whatever he says, whatever he tells us to go, we have to go that way. Otherwise, if we don't, he's going to lead us on top of path of random destruction yeah very very random and definitely want to i want to play more of this game it just it's so bizarre it's like i'm talk, actually talking to a madman but i think i'm mad so much i want to play in this so anyway so if you if you have enjoyed this game and do want to see much more of it please do make sure to like comment and most importantly please do subscribe because every single like comment and subscription helps my channel so so much 
and I'll see you next time.